We've got one last Hall of Famer to celebrate tonight, Dr. Robert Duff. Yeah. The man needs no introduction. Dr. Robert Duff has been an ardent supporter of University of Portland athletics and student athletes during his 47 years on the bluff as a professor and as a fan since his retirement. He joined the university in 1972 and immediately was appointed to the institution's athletic committee, which he remained a part of until his retirement from full-time teaching in 2016. He frequently served as the institutional committee chair while also performing duties as the university's faculty athletic representative to the West Coast Conference and NCAA from 1992 through 2004. Man, you're mighty popular. This is mine? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> 47 years of service at the university that loves you so dearly and you love so dearly. Let's go back to 1972. You land on the bluff, you're thinking, nah, I'll spend a year or two here and then go back to my big old family in LA. What happened? That's exactly what it was. I, I just fully intended on being here a year or two. Uh -huh. uh, I had been in, uh, in Indiana for 10 years and I had uh, I got three degrees at Notre Dame and I taught at Indiana University. But I have this big family down in LA. Uh, I'm the oldest of nine and I have so many cousins and at the time aunts and uncles and everything. And so I really intended to go back there. But I arrived here in Portland just to spend this year or two. And then uh, in that period, I started falling for the place. And I just, uh, I, uh, I really started enjoying my colleagues. I married one of them. Uh, uh, my wife Vivian was a uh, nursing faculty member. Uh, I, I got to know the Holy Cross priests and brothers in a way that I had never uh, had anything to do with them in, at Notre Dame, uh, but I became really good friends with a lot of them here. Uh, I liked the students. The students seemed to be very well-rounded and I just really enjoyed the students here. And, um, and then <laughs> I also got involved in this athletic program which was a total surprise. I had nothing to do with athletics uh, except as a fan at Notre Dame or at Indiana University. And the, uh, uh, I remember the first day on campus, uh, the executive vice president, uh, Art Schulte, invited me up to his office to welcome me arrive. And he said he was going to uh, appoint me to the athletic committee. And I thought, I think there's a little stereotyping going on. You know, I had been, ten, I had been all this time at Notre Dame, and so he assumed I was a, uh, a fanatic uh, sports fan and I was an athlete wannabe, which in fact were true. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the assumption, you know, was a little off-putting off for me. Uh, but then I, I started getting into, I started meeting these people. We started uh, with the coaches, uh, with the, the different committees. There were a lot of, a lot of kind of key committees. I was mm -hmm. in one in, in 76 where we uh, voted to get into the West Coast Conference. Uh, I was on the one that started the uh, Hall of Fame committee. Mauro Patesio uh, organized this. Uh, I was then on coaching selection committees. Uh, hired Clive Charles on the committee, one of the committees that was involved in hiring Clive Charles. Uh, another one that turned down Eric Spolstra. <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, and I got to know these coaches. Um, I became really close friends with Jack Avina, mm. especially, mm. who was uh, just this wonderful guy. And so many of the others uh, that I got to know um, and, and came to the conclusion that they, they really are educators. They're really important people in the lives of, of uh, developing these students in the way that uh, faculty members are in, in many ways. So. so obviously that connection with, with your colleagues, boom. But your connection with the students, you were a beloved instructor. Your, your class, Sociology of Sport, I mean, it was packed to the gills. A lot of student athletes took that course. Yeah. All told, over the course of nearly five decades, thousands of students crossed your path. What was the magic of teaching and teaching 
and connecting with these youngsters that you knew you were helping in terms of what was next? Well, you know, I never thought I was going to be a good teacher because I could never speak in front of a group. And uh, so I, uh, I actually um, found out that I, uh, when I started teaching at Indiana University, I, I, uh, I initially was uh, tragic. But, uh, I, I, <laughs> but in the first semester, I just started to get better and better. And, and I started really enjoying interacting with the students. So when I came out here, I was kind of, I was, you know, much more comfortable with getting in the classroom. And then the students were better here than the ones I had been teaching. And, and the classes were smaller. And so I, <laughs> I was, uh, it was, it was easier and more enjoyable. And, uh, and because the classes are small, you get to know the students better. And it was, uh, it just really gelled. And then the, the student athletes here really, they're good students. I mean, they are really in, in uh, they're, they're, it's not a separate group. I mean, mm -hmm. they're really part of the university. I, 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 Pujita was in my sport class, I remember. And uh, it was, it was, he was very participatory. He, <laughs> He had a lot to say in that class. All good stuff. All really. I mean, and, and so many of the other uh, um, student athletes, they were quite wonderful. That class was really a, a lot of fun to teach. And, uh, and I had a lot of the student athletes in there. And it was just quite wonderful because they, they weren't uh, uh, students that gave you difficulties. They were, they were good students. Yeah. What does this award and honor mean to you? Oh, this was totally unexpected. I mean, I had no clue that this was going to, uh, going to happen. I, uh, uh, you know, I fully enjoyed all of those years that I was involved in the, uh, uh, in the athletic program. You know, I, I traveled with these athletic directors, uh, uh, Joe Etzel, Larry Williams, uh, to the West Coast Conference meetings and to the NCAA meetings and things like that. So I got to know them. I got to know these, as I mentioned before, I got to know these coaches. I just think they're, they're quite wonderful people. I had a panel of coaches in that sociology sport class. Uh, each uh, year that I taught it, I would have about four of them come in, different ones. And it was really interesting because uh, not one that I ever called uh, refused to come in. Mm. Every one uh, accepted and came in. And, uh, uh, and they gave their all. And, they ne and I never offered a penny. And they never asked for a penny. <laughs> so it was a total volunteer thing. It was quite, quite wonderful. And you still hang out a little bit on campus, don't you? Yeah, yeah. A gang of us uh, get together at the tea room um, every Thursday. Heck so yeah. To join us at the tea room. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Scott's been there. <laughs> Heck yeah. Can't leave that. <laughs> All right, you UP lifer. Uh, congratulations. A lot of thanks goes to you from colleagues, students, fans, and all of us who have had the pleasure to get to know you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, <it's> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>